Hey y'all, this week's grocery haul is coming to you from Kroger and Walmart. I ordered the Kroger groceries on the app and picked them up and I had the Walmart groceries delivered to the house. The reason why I went to Kroger this week is not only did they have an amazing sale, they gave me a $15 off coupon y'all. But I had to spend $50 and I had to order my groceries on the app in order to get $15 off. Comment down below, let me know what do you think I spent out of pocket at Kroger. Now I will give y'all a hint, my overall total before coupons was $84.94. And Pepsi products were on sale for $3.99 each. Regular price is $8.99. They had a limit of five. I bought three. My husband is the only one who drinks this soda because he says he needs the extra boost of caffeine. So these are pretty much for him. The hostess snack cakes were $2.79 each. Regular price is $3.79 each. This was not on my list. I grabbed these only because I needed filler items to get me to that $50 mark. And since I haven't been to Sam's yet to get our monthly snacks, I grabbed these Hostess snack cakes instead. The butter was $2.49 each. Regular price is $4.29. I use real butter when I'm cooking my Thanksgiving meals, so this should be more than enough for all that I plan on cooking. The Red Baron brick oven pepperoni pizzas were $2.99 each. Regular price is $5.49. This is something that is quick and easy to cook on the weekends and is also great for family movie night. The Pop-Tarts were $2.99 each. Regular price is $4.29. My kids love the frosted chocolate fudge and brown sugar cinnamon flavors. All of my kids have some type of after school function to attend, so they grab one to snack on until they get home. The Toaster Strudel pastries were $2.49. Regular price is $3.49. My middle son asked for this about two grocery hauls ago, but I was waiting for it to go on sale. My Walmart has this, but only in the 12 count strawberry flavor for $5.44. Two of the six count boxes here at Kroger would have been way cheaper than that one 12 count box at Walmart. The Eggland's best eggs were $1.50 each. Regular price is $3.40. 49 cents. I also had a 50 cent off manufacturer coupon. These are by far my favorite brand of eggs. I only buy them when they are on sale. Well, let me take that back. My favorite eggs are the cage free ones at Costco, but they have went up so much on the price of those eggs, y'all. The Tyson chicken was $4.99. Regular price is $7.99. I had planned on letting my daughter take these to lunch before before I found out about that recall, I was so disappointed, y'all. I had to run to Aldi and get their chicken fries just so that she would have something to take to school this week in her lunch. Let's take one last look at everything that I got at Kroger. If your guess was in the $30 ballpark, you are correct. $33.42, y'all. They can inflate these grocery prices all they want to, but we just have to find a way to get around it. One thing I want y'all to start doing is taking full advantage of those digital coupons and manufacture coupons if you have them. I don't know about y'all, but I get mine every Tuesday for free in the mail and they come with the weekly sales ad. Even Walmart gives money back when you use their app and clip certain deals. Now I've made quite a few dollars using that Walmart app. Speaking of Walmart, let me show you everything that I had delivered to my house. The bananas were $1.59. I'm going to chop these up and freeze them for my smoothies. I'm also going to be making some chocolate covered bananas. My kids really love to snack on those. The sweet potatoes were $2.98. This is enough to make roasted sweet potatoes for one meal and candied yams for another. I don't want to think about how much I would have saved had I gotten these at Aldi. The 30 piece bag of candy was $4.98. Now this bag looked much bigger in the Walmart app. I felt so robbed y'all after they delivered this tiny bag of candy to my house. My son bought a candy jar the other day at work so I just wanted to fill it up. The yellow cake mix was a dollar. I found this recipe that uses cake mix to make birthday cake pancakes. I had all of the ingredients except the cake mix. 
The frozen pineapple was $2.48. I for sure could have saved more money if I had just bought a whole pineapple and cut it up myself. This Walmart delivery was all about convenience. The frozen mango was $2.82. Same thing with the mango. I could have gotten about three mangoes and diced them up for my sunrise smoothie. But again, it was all about convenience, this grocery haul. The sour cream was a dollar. We will be using this with all of our Taco Tuesday meals. The oil was $3.88. I bought this oiler from Amazon a while back. I think that's what it's called. It's the thing that you drain and keep your oil in after you cook it. But anyway, that thing saves me money. The half and half was $2.60. We are still drinking our daily coffee. The eggs were $1.94 each. Even though I just bought eggs from Kroger, we needed more because we were completely out. As much as I loved Eggland's Best Eggs, I didn't have an extra manufacturer coupon, so I just decided to order extra eggs at Walmart. The red beans and rice were 82 cents. Now these were 78 cents not too long ago, so y'all y'all see how inflation is working. But we are having red beans and rice this week. The Red Baron pizzas were $3.92 each. These mini pizzas make a great after school or weekend snack. The rice was 92 cents. This is for the red beans and rice recipe. Now I bought brown rice the last time around, so I decided to go the cheaper route and get this rice. The tortillas were $1.98. I'm going to be making breakfast burritos and beef empanadas. This is enough for both. If you want to see how I made the breakfast burritos, I'll link the make ahead breakfast freezer meal video in the description box. The butter was $1.38 each. We were completely out of butter, so I grabbed enough to get us through the next two weeks. Now the butter that I got at Kroger, that's strictly for Thanksgiving. The chicken stock was a dollar each. Now this is cheaper than Aldi's chicken stock. I thought for sure they would have theirs on sale by now, but either way, I'm going to stock up while it's a dollar. The bacon was $4.97. I grabbed a pack for breakfast this week. My husband and I usually have bacon, eggs, and avocado toast for breakfast during the week while the kids are at school. The sausage is $3.46. I grabbed two because one would be for the red beans and rice, and the other one is for breakfast on the weekends when the kids are here. The turkey was $3.68. Y'all, I started using this instead of beef in those beef empanadas. And let me tell y'all, my family has no idea that I'm using turkey instead of beef. And I don't plan on telling them anytime soon. If they don't know the difference, I'm not saying anything. This is much cheaper and healthier than beef. The beef franks were $3.84. Now I want to try something different with these this week. I'm going to make some homemade dough and wrap these in the dough, kind of like a kolache. The peas and carrots were 98 cents each. I got two bags for my chicken pot pie recipe. The temps are beginning to drop and what better way to enjoy that warm and cozy feeling than eating some good old comfort food. The checkers fries were $4.74. This is by far my favorite brand of fries. I used to love all these seasoned fries until I ran across these one day at Walmart. The mesquite grill marinade was $1.36 each. I bought two because that's how many I use to marinate that large pack of chicken that I buy. I marinate my chicken after each and every grocery haul and stick them in the freezer. When I'm ready to cook it, I move it over to the fridge to thaw. And voila, time saved in the kitchen. The canned chicken was $1.26 each. I'm going to use this for my chicken pie pie recipe. Buying it in the can versus having to cook a whole chicken, cut it up, and then cook the chicken pie pie saves me more time in the kitchen. The limes were 25 cents each. I squeezed lime juice into my water to give it flavor. Not only am I getting added flavor, I'm also getting the added benefits of drinking lime water, such as vitamin C. The tomatoes were 35 cents for both. What I've started doing recently is cutting and slicing them and then placing them in mason jars in the fridge until I'm ready to use them in salads and on burgers. The ginger was 85 cents. I add this to my smoothies and I also make tea with this to get those added benefits. The mac and cheese was $1.20. This will be a side item for dinner this week. I hesitated on getting this brand because of the price. I could have gotten this way cheaper at Aldi, but the theme this week is convenience. The Jiffy Cornbread Mix is 52 cents each. I only ordered two boxes because we'll be eating this with our red beans and rice. I'm definitely going to order more as Thanksgiving approaches to make my homemade cornbread dressing. The stuffing was 88 cents each. It was actually cheaper than Aldi this week. Stuffing will be a side item for the Mesquite Grilled Chicken. 
The tea was $1.94. I saw that we were running low, so I grabbed a box. The brownies and oatmeal cream pies were $2.68. I can truly say that we have more than enough snacks to last until I get back over to Sam's. The Hershey's cookies and cream was $2.37. My daughter is the only one who eats these. She packs them away in her school lunch. The hot dog and hamburger buns were both $1.38. The loaf of bread was $1.32. Now I know I could have gotten this way cheaper at Aldi. The mild cheddar and mozzarella shredded cheeses were both $2.22. We like to sprinkle cheese on our scrambled eggs and I also use this in my beef and banana recipe. The sliced cheese was $2.22. I love making grilled cheese sandwiches with this. It is so cheesy when heated. The apple juice was $2.84. I needed more apple juice to make my smoothie this for my daughter. This is the only way I can get those leafy greens in her without her actually tasting them. Now let's take one last look at everything that I got at Walmart. enough groceries to get us through the week. I've already meal planned and I'm going to meal prep here in a few minutes. If you're a working mom like me, schedule some time to meal prep after you put your groceries away. I know Taco Tuesday is coming and we eat beef and bananas on Taco Tuesday. As you can see, I bought turkey this week for Taco Tuesday. What I'm going to do here in a few minutes is I'm going to cook my turkey, I'm going to season it and add everything that I need to make that beef and banana, and then I'm going to freeze it until Tuesday. Now another thing that I could do, I could go ahead and fill the tortillas and then go ahead and cook those, put those in Ziploc bags and freeze them. That's another thing that I can do. And that will save me time during the week. And that's time that I could be spending with my husband and my kids. So that's just my tip from me to you on how to get extra time in with your family. If you wanna see how I prepare four make ahead freezer breakfast meals, go ahead and click that video on the screen. Have an amazing day, besties. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.